Big City Farms is a part of a uh, recently created, um, what are we referring to it as, like an urban growers collaborative that we're calling Indie Grown that is comprised of five uh, market gardens in Indianapolis. Uh, Big City Farms is the largest one. Uh, it ranges, they range from about a half acre to two and a half acres. And they've been around for, we'll say, on average, three to four years. So Big City Farms, this is one of the two sites that we use. The other site is on the about five miles northwest of here still well within the boundaries of Indianapolis, but in a sort of a completely different area. It's residential and sort of wooded and not next to a highway or train tracks or an old uh, factory. Um, so it's a total of about two and a half acres that is currently under production. Uh, we're going to expand this that away. Um, over the course of the next six months. So we'll be up to three acres by the beginning of next year. So we grow pretty much anything and everything. Um, I don't know how many, probably 40 to 50 different crops, 100 plus varieties of those. Most of the produce, about 65% goes through a CSA that I run. It's a um, 22-week CSA, uh, about 75 members and the remaining goes to local restaurants, about four to six restaurants um, a week from, our season runs from, we'll say like late April through into December. So it's a pretty nice long season. At the moment we don't do any uh, really established uh, season extension stuff, uh, as far as like high tunnels or whatever, where um, I'd have recently purchased two high tunnel frames one of which will go up here, hopefully, another will go on the north side. So those will, I and mean, they're fairly large, 85 feet by 18 feet, so they'll allow us to um, do some more winter growing. With pretty much all of these beds, they'll be at least cropped twice, um, some of them three times uh, over the course of the year. Uh, we just sort of try and churn it out as much as possible. Um, irrigation. Uh, let's see, so we use, um, let's see, the local utility here is called Citizens Energy. They have, um, essentially we rent a, a hydrant meter. We tap into the hydrants um, to be able to water stuff. Uh, it's not particularly fancy, or I mean it's pretty low tech, but it works very well. Um, and water's super cheap, which is very nice. Um, and. Uh, and it's always on, I and mean, it's always available. It's not a, a well, um, so that's nice. I'm pretty careful about uh, getting soil tests done on from before I start, and then probably at least on an every two year basis, just to check in and see how things are going. Um, with soil contamination, there's, uh, I mean, I've dealt with it in other parcels, and so I've become pretty adept at knowing what to do. There's also an amazing resource, if I can do a quick local plug, there's a professor at IUPUI, this guy Gabe Filippelli, who's like a national expert on like urban contamination and how to deal with it. And he's been a really tremendous advocate for urban growers, uh, whether it's home gardeners or slightly larger market gardeners. And um, his big thing is that it's a, uh, um, it's never like an absolute problem. It can always be fixed or addressed in some way. Um, and so for the most part, with the, the techniques I've used is basically just trying to build up the soil as much as possible. 